Hey folks, it's Lev. Welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new and you see in pronouns, I am five months and a few days on testosterone. Unreal. Again, I say unreal every time because it is absolutely unreal. I started testosterone in January and now it's June. Uh, time has honestly gone so fast the past five months and so much has happened in my life and so much internal growth has happened as well. Update, I got my second dose of Pfizer vaccine today. So I live in Australia, Victoria specifically, and yeah, I got my second Pfizer vaccine today. So I'm, I'm covered for COVID. Um, I actually bought a new boxing heavy bag because the old one broke and I I did some training earlier today on the new bag for the first time so it's like a heavy duty bag 45 kilograms much heavier than the old one and it definitely has a lot more resistance and like it's it hurts more my my fist hurt more when I'm punching it because it's a harder bag but that's good because I can condition my fist and strengthen it as much as possible so it's like a little bit red I do wear hand wraps, like always, so I don't break my fist, but it's red, but it's part of training. Um, today, I wanted to do like a get to know me video, talk a bit about myself, because I realized I've been doing this YouTube thing for a little bit, a while, and I haven't actually made like a get to know me video. Um, I've just been talking about different things, but not really a get to know me type thing so that's today's video if i haven't mentioned it already i am 23 so i'm going through young adulthood but second puberty because of testosterone so second puberty during young adulthood i'm not really a star signs person but if those of you are interested i'm a leo um what else i did four years of psych at uni so I did three years and then there was an honors year um, and then now I'm working full time in mental health which is exactly what I want to do like the job I currently have just sits it's right at home for me like the work itself the people the culture everything is just and it's actually my first job and you know having the luck of landing this job in this role it's just, I don't know how it happened, but it happened, so, and I'm grateful that it, it turned out the way it did. Um, little side note, but I applied for a lot of jobs, and every single one of them rejected me, which is not surprising. They always say, you have experience. I did a lot of volunteering during my university years, but I never worked a paid job before until now. Um, all of them say you have experience. I did mental health stuff with volunteering as well, but not pay in a paid capacity. And all of the employee employers were like, you have experience, but this person has more experience. Basically, they're saying there's someone better than you for this role. So I got rejected 10,000 times. And somehow I landed in this job that I'm currently in. Something else about me is that I love video games. I've been playing video games since I was 8 years old and the first game I played was Pokemon Emerald on Game Boy Advance and I've been gaming ever since. Different, I've played League of Legends, i played MMORPGs, i played first person shooters, i played um, role playing games, i played like a lot of different games. Um, I'm currently playing Borderlands 3, Dishonored 2, and The Evil Within, um, like just switching between the games. And I noticed my favorite type of my favorite types of games are like survival games. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be like survival horror, but just survival games in general. I dig I dig a lot. And I really like games that have stealth elements to it, like The Last of Us, The Last of Us Part Two, and The Last of Us, and like Assassin's Creed. I just, I just love going stealth. Um, that's like my favorite, favorite approach 
to playing games, if there's like a choice that I can make, I would usually go the stealth approach. And my favorite, random fact, but my favorite weapon in first person shooters is a sniper rifle. I will always go for a sniper rifle. If there was an option, always go for sniper, fun fact. Speaking about survival horror games, I used to have a really big fear of horror in general. It's not just games like horror movies, the dark, anything to do with the horror genre. I, I couldn't take it. Like I would have nightmares for weeks on end. I remember watching Psycho in high school for like, I did, I studied media and we watched Psycho to analyze the movie and stuff. I literally closed my eyes for like 95% of the movie because it just traumatized me. Like my mind just went, created all these images of like the thing happening to the character, happening to me. And I just, my nervous system just was very overactive and I was just tense and on edge all the time. That's what horror did to me. Um, horror movies was like a definite no-go. Anything that had horror associated with the movie, I'm like, I can't watch this. Um, but now I'm just like living for horror games. And like, I enjoy some horror movies, but some of them are just like boring. Like, so then the man, I, I started watching it and then I got bored. So I stopped watching it. Um, that was a huge fear that was, that took basically took over a large part of my life just fear of horror and overcoming it I just felt so free and it's weird how I sort of overcame it like someone told me you do martial arts why are you afraid of horror and then I don't know something in my head clicked and then like ever since that line was said to me I just started not fearing us so much, just like, why am I actually scared of this? And then I started breaking it down, and then here I am, just like living for horror games and like horror experiences. Um, haven't been to a haunted house ever since I overcame this fear. Want to do that again. The last time I went to a horror house, I was just terrified. Now I want to go to a horror house and be like, come at me, bro. What you got for me? How about me, bro? So a funny side thing, whenever I play like video games, but like hor horror video games in general, um, I do like experience like the jump scare sometimes, like my body will flinch, but my mind doesn't go rampant and like imagine all these things. Um, and I usually, when I play video games, I usually say like, come at me, bro. Whenever there's like a boss fight or just enemies in general, I'm like, come at me, bro. I'm not scared of you. Come at me. Come fight me. I'm not joking. I literally say, come at me, bro, to enemies on a screen who can't even hear me because they're like computer enemies. But I, that's what I do when I play games. It just makes it more amusing for me. Another thing about me is that I... When I was younger, I never thought of myself as like an outdoor person. But ever since I did things like started hiking and spending more time in nature and like outdoor in general, I just realized like I want to try so many outdoor experiences, like actual camping in a tent. I did camping like when I was in primary school, like we went to, we had cabins and everything, but like I wanted to go actual camping in the woods with sleeping in a tent, having a campfire you know, roasting some marshmallows and just having wholesome conversations with people. I really want to do that. And I also want to try mountain biking. I've never mountain biked in my life. But that's also something I want to do. Just going outside and doing, having all these outdoorsy type experiences. Like, I really want to do that now. And I never thought of myself as being an outdoor type person. It's just interesting how, as we expose ourselves to different experiences or new experiences that were like way out of the realm of our imagination of us actually being interested in it's it's funny how you know I just find things that click with me I'm like oh so this is what I've been interested in but I never knew so yeah I also want to do I want to try bungee jumping and also skydiving are two things also on my list 
next thing is that I am an amateur drummer. Like I'm sitting right behind my drum kit. My my electronic drum kit is right in front of me. And I didn't buy the acoustic one because it's too loud. And I don't have like a proper sound studio room thing. Um, and if I just bang, bang, bang on the acoustic drum, I'm going to dis disrupt my neighbors. Um, the electronic ones, I just wear earphones, uh, headphones, and I just hear hear the hear the drum sounds. I I only got this drum kit a few months ago, and but drumming is something I really wanted to do when I was younger as well. Like I really had this drive towards learning drumming and doing drumming, but I guess I've just suppressed that for a very long time. And once I got this actual, once I actually had a drum kit like an actual drum kit and I started drumming on it it was just like I have lived my childhood dream of doing this even if it's an electronic drum kit it's still the like the the drum sounds are like exactly the same so it's basically drumming um it is drumming it is drumming um yeah living my childhood dream making it a reality is just like it satisfied my inner child self this is like more about my personality in a way but whenever I'm in like a group of friends or I'm leading a group assignment or team project or anything where I'm like the lead of a group essentially I have like a no one gets left behind um mm, I don't know if it's a model but like I have a no person no one gets left behind thought pattern and I literally mean it when I say no one gets left behind like when I had when I was leading group assignments at uni there were a few people who struggled with a few people who were experiencing mental health conditions at the time and I had to manage all of that so I took everyone's thoughts into consideration and you know, I made I made sure everyone in the group was heard and just doing things like this to make like everyone is acknowledged and seen and heard essentially. Linking to this, I was talking to Karina earlier and we were talking about like horror games and horror movies and she said, um, if we were in a horror movie, you'd be the only survivor because of your brains. And I said to Karina, No both of us will survive because I'm not abandoning you and that really I guess comes back to the idea that I don't abandon people I care about it's like I would die with you rather than abandon you and leave you behind essentially literally I would die with you rather than abandon you and just be the only survivor um I feel like I'm stating the obvious here, but other people may not have watched my other videos. I am FTM transgender, so I am a trans man. And I'm also pansexual and panromantic. I don't know what else to say about that, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Another sort of personal thing is that I explored with my therapist how I told him that I feel very awkward and a bit uncomfortable with receiving praise and compliments from people and I don't know that I this is something I'm still exploring in myself and I'll probably make a video about this in the future once I start to understand it more for myself like about this part of me I don't I feel very awkward and a bit comfortable with people praising me because I partially I maybe is I think like I'm just being me like whenever my friends thank me for things and say I'm grateful for you for doing this I just say I'm just being me this is just being me like I don't really feel like I'm putting that much effort into this I'm just doing what I I usually do I'm just like living my life as Lev this is me I'm not really forcing anything it's just I'm just repeating myself because I don't know what else to say. Yeah, when I do get like compliments and praise and whatnot for work I do, for example, I think to myself, I'm not better than anyone else just because 
I've achieved this thing or I'm successful in this, I always think I'm not better than anyone else. I'm like the same as everyone else. I'm not better than anyone else. I'm like achieving this thing or being successful in this thing that just, just doesn't just like elevate my status and make me above people because I don't think like that. I don't like everyone is equal that's why like everyone should be treated everyone is equal and everyone should be treated as as equal that's how i see it i'm not i'm better than you you're you're below me no <laughs> the thing is that i find meaning and purpose and having intention behind things very important um for with meaning for example i whenever it's my it's the birthday of one of my chosen family members. I make them a custom gift. I don't go out and buy like them some material thing and just gift them for their birthday. I make them a custom gift. And for example, Karina's birthday, I made, I recently made a musical letter. So I wrote a letter. I recorded a voiceover of me reading that letter. I made some background music from scratched put those two together make it a musical letter and i i sent it to her that's an example of a custom gift and i find this thing more meaningful than just going out to the shop and buying like a material thing for them because i like honoring friend a uh, friendship and not just with karina all of my chosen family members I like honoring our friendship and how far we've come and I usually reflect back on like what has made us work so well that led us to this point in our friendship and I always like to reiterate how grateful I am for them and thanking them for being there for me and supporting me and I list things that they've done for me that I'm grateful for and I also like to reminisce on memories we share together and I somehow incorporate all of these different elements into a gift for my friend. I also get custom gifts from my friends like uh, for Christmas last year. Just having a few of my friends write me personalized cards and like messages pertaining to like our friendship and whatnot that just gave me so much euphoria and it it's so much more meaningful. Oh, one of my friends painted me a picture. If you haven't done so already, I really, I highly recommend that you create a custom gift for someone you care about and someone important in your life and gift them that. Um, for me, I know it's definitely strengthened the bonds between me and my friends that I, me and my, my friends in my chosen family definitely strengthen our bond and just and it really reinforces like we know where we stand in each other's lives and how important we are to each other it's really reinforced through the custom gifts um that's all i had for now folks thanks for watching um if you have any questions or anything just like drop it in the comments and i'll answer as much as i can Oh, I try and get back to you. I am working full time again, so I'm not always reading through comments. Um, but I will try my best. Um, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you in the next video.